Thanks so much, Lucille. It's great to be speaking with you all about my favorite time of year, CJU. CJU University is a one-of-a-kind conference, and because it's so unique, we wanted to make sure you're confident and comfortable with how to make the very most of it. Let's take a quick look at our webinar agenda to get us started. To begin, we'll cover some best practices and recommended strategies for networking successfully at CJU 17. Then we'll cover how to get set up on CJ Universe effectively. I'll switch to a live demonstration at that point so we can walk through some common tasks such as requesting meetings and starting conversations. And lastly, we'll wrap up by covering all of the additional features the tool offers you and hold a Q&A so we can address any questions that shoot our way while I'm presenting things. First of all, let's get real here. We're less than three weeks away, so arrange your meetings as soon as we're done today. This webinar is short and sweet, so you can get out the door prepared like a pro, because the sooner you can get started setting meetings, the better. CJU's so chock full of top-notch partners to meet with that it can be intimidating knowing where or how to start. So here's a quick one, two, three formula to follow to slim down your list. The key here is knowing who to target. Take a few minutes to use our reporting interface to create a short list. Once you've pulled reports and begun to dig in, some helpful metrics to help you prioritize can include uh, year-over-year change in performance, and that could be positive or negative. Uh, either is an indicator of a, a conversation worthy to be had. Next, take a look at their EPC averages, which showcase how profitable or not profitable that relationship currently is. And finally, don't forget to look at their network earnings rank, which indicates how successful they are in the network overall. And all of these apply to either advertisers or publishers. Next, don't forget to review important networking events on our agenda and add them to your schedule so you can set up your meetings around these. Be sure to check out our schedule of keynote speakers, big stage sessions, discovery lab workshops, and last but certainly not least, our fun and unique social networking events. You can use a handy scheduler tool within CJ Universe to keep that in mind, and I'll go over that in just a minute in the live demonstration, but I'd actually like to get back to those social events for just a moment. Now, I'm not usually one to brag, but the reason CJ used the best networking event in the affiliate industry isn't just because of our beautiful setting and time to set meetings and get real work done in person with your partners. Our networking social events create a magical atmosphere that's hard to deny. This year, we've added two wonderful new events on Monday, CJU Connect and our new to CJU Happy Hour, on top of all the classics where attendees have been making years of memories. Make no mistake, the welcome party, funk zone event, cocktail hour and a half, awards dinner, and after party are more than just excuses to have fun. This is where you can truly get to know the people behind the partnerships, and bonds are made that last. Especially if you're new to CJU, don't miss out on a single thing. Okay, networking best practices and the highlights of CJU 17 out of the way, let's jump into the CJ universe itself, CJU's dedicated online community, to get you set up right to have a productive and fun time. Even if it's your very first time attending, the universe has got your back every step of the way. So I am now going to switch to the live demonstration. Here is the portal. Uh, first and foremost, you may be wondering how to log in. Uh, the key is the email you received when you first registered for the conference. So find that email and that will have a unique link just for you to get in and start setting up the universe and your profile. Um, to start our tour, let's head over to your profile so I can show you everything that's there. Here's where you can start editing your profile. Uh, keep in mind a couple of things here that are really important to help out with your conference experience. Uh, first of all, definitely upload a photo. You want to make sure that other attendees who are trying to meet with you do know what you look like and can identify you more quickly. Be sure to list your profile, I'm sorry, your uh, phone number here on the profile as well. But this is how our CJ Universe tool is going to push you notifications about 
things you need to be aware of and upcoming sessions and meetings. Uh, but do keep in mind this phone number is not publicly displayed. So uh, don't expect this number to be known and available to other attendees meeting with you. Uh, and the last point on the phone number is you may find that this is actually pre-populated. We may have been able to do that based off of your connection with us uh, and, and CJ in general. But uh, if it is, make sure it's correct. If it's not, be sure to include it. And then finally, don't forget about this great about me section. You know, this is your chance to actually introduce yourself to a lot of great marketers and business people who have never met you before and really want to know about you and can be a great way to start the conversation for a meeting. So cover the things that you do in your job, where you're from, your interests. You never know what will be a valuable point to cover. Continuing on. You can list out your social media links or any other related websites to you and your business. You can set visibility per, uh, permissions, email preferences, uh, text and push notification details, which again, this is gonna tie back to that phone number you've listed. And then of course you can update your password if you need to. And all of this is gonna culminate in a very nice profile that looks something like this. Uh, and we'll give every other attendee a chance to get to know you just a little bit, know what you look like, and kind of see what you're up to here at CJU17. Getting back to the overall tour, I'm just gonna start at the beginning and work my way through so you could see everything that's here. Uh, but I'm gonna keep things at a pretty high level. Note this great YouTube video here is a great uh, guide for you to follow if you're new to using the tool. It really digs into um, key uh, tasks like setting up meetings in depth. So watch the video for sure following this webinar. But in general, you've got your homepage here. The homepage covers a couple of different things, including uh, recent discussions that have been started, uh, private ones or group ones. Um, you've got your video, you've got your links to other attendees. You've got the profiles of all the speakers here, as well as of course our Twitter feed. Moving along to the people section. This is where you're gonna locate any attendees you're trying to find, see who's attending. You can look them up by their relationship to CJ, what organization they work for, and their title, other things like that too. Even uh, ribbons that we apply to certain attendees that designate what they're doing here at the conference. If you're looking for like-minded business people who are doing things in your vertical or in your business model, um, or your relationship to CJ. Groups are a great way to do that. So we've got a lot of different groups you can join, especially if you're new to CJU. I highly recommend joining the first time to CJU group so you can uh, talk to those individuals and connect with them. And note uh, the functionality, and, and you'll see this all over the universe. When you hover over a group or a session or other things, that add or join button appears automatically. So that's how you'll do that. And speaking of which, let's check out the schedule. Heading to the full schedule first, this is a great way for you to check out everything that's happening all through the conference. And the full schedule covers everything from speakers to sessions to meals to social events. It's really comprehensive. Um, like I said, if you wanna mark on your own calendar that you are attending something, make sure to hover over it and click add so that you've got it on your own schedule. Your own schedule is right here under my schedule. So now that I designated that I want to attend Waleed's keynote, I'm actually gonna see that appear right here on Tuesday. Hey, there it is, I'm attending. And you'll build out your own personal schedule with a mix of the sessions you're attending, the different events, and of course, uh, personal meetings that you may have set up as well. And to do that, if you are setting up unique meetings with certain partners, you'll click this new meeting button which will open up the wizard and give you all the options to do just that. This attendees area is where you will enter in who's gonna be at the meeting. Just start typing in the name and you'll get your options right away. You'll enter in the date and the time. You could actually click and drag really easily here to just get it started right away. Note that as soon as you do that, you get your location options and a couple points here. You will notice a lot of options for dedicated meeting spaces. If you're meeting with any of these publishers or advertisers, I definitely recommend starting with that as the location. They have uh, sponsored and paid for this table specifically to be for their use. So definitely um, keep that in mind if that makes sense. But if not, we do have the zone and a lot of other uh, places where you can meet. 
Um, the last point there is make sure that you're picking a table that it's appropriate for your meeting size. If if you only have two people, don't pick a four-person table, pick a two-person table. Uh, given that space is uh, certainly limited and we do have a lot of attendees, uh, it's really great to be mindful of that. We appreciate it. Uh, create a meeting subject that makes sense. And then in the description, this is where I would recommend you list your actual cell phone number um, so you can stay in contact with your fellow attendees of the meeting. They can find you just in case uh, you need to do some coordinating. So that's how you set up your meetings. Getting back to the full schedule, I just want to point out that all the sessions and content are in green, uh, so you will definitely see that right away. And then moving on, let's dig into some of the some of the conference content and how you can engage with it within the CJ universe. Uh, first you've got your speakers profiles, so if you want to learn anything about any of us as well as um, some of our guest speakers uh, from some other organizations like Sri. Um, you can definitely do that here. Check out their profiles to learn a little bit about them and what they're doing. Check out our Sponsors tab, too, to see who's sponsoring uh, the different events here at CJU. Uh, we've got our CJU Connect sponsors, global sponsors, and then just general spon sponsors for the whole conference. Moving on. I definitely want to show you a little bit about the Discovery Lab. This is an exciting new feature for our, our uh, conference this year, and we're expanding on the Solutions Lounge, if you did attend in past years. Um, one thing I do want to point out is this button is really just a filter from the full schedule. So you'll notice I still have things like breakfast in the keynote. Uh, all you need to do here is click track and then toggle this Discovery Lab button. And that's going to pull up just the Discovery Lab workshops. So you may have to do a little toggling there to see them. but you can see all the different workshops here that you may want to attend. These are great mini sessions of uh, content that is maybe a little more technical, maybe a little more day-to-day um, -day as opposed to the big strategic stage topics. Um, definitely check them out. If a meeting is full and you really want to attend, please join the waitlist. And keep in mind that even if you're on the waitlist, when that day and time arrives, still come by the Discovery Lab because it's always possible someone couldn't make it, their schedule changed, and you still have a chance to attend. And the Discovery Lab runs basically the whole length of the conference, by the way. So starting from Tuesday uh, right through Thursday, we'll have all sorts of Discovery Lab sessions. And then last but not least, I do want to point out a really neat thing with our sessions this year. We've actually added in some additional engagement so that you can download the PowerPoint deck itself and even engage with the speaker in the middle of the session as well as after. So for instance, this is a great session we're having on Monday that Jill Stein will be putting on about how to navigate your first CJU. Uh, during that session, we'll be taking a poll of who's in the audience and you can check whether you're an advertiser or publisher. This will actually update in real time. Next, you'll have the ability to ask questions of Jill during the session, so you can submit them here and, and she will see them and be able to answer them. And then lastly, every session is going to have your ability to rate the session just to let us know if we did a good job, so make sure to do that. And last but not least, I, Lucille is reminding me not to forget about the notes. Uh, this is a really exciting feature. So uh, we know everybody's taking notes throughout the conference. It's really important we talk about so many things. You don't want to remember, you don't want to forget everything that we cover. Taking your notes here is super helpful because it's built right into the tool. And furthermore, when you're all done, you can actually go to my notes here and download all of them so that you've got them all on your site after the conference to look back on. And now let's take a look at our discussions area. This is your chance to engage with other attendees before and during the conference. So um, this is a great place if you uh, just have a general question, if you're looking to meet with certain types of partners. But also keep in mind that we post a lot of helpful information here in the discussions, such as our shuttle schedule. Uh, and I do need to make a shameless plug. I am one of our social media ambassadors this year, so I will be manning CJ's Facebook channel. Feel free to stop by and say hi at any time that you see me uh, if you'd like to be a part of our Facebook content and take a look for George and Daph will be banning Twitter and Instagram respectively. If you'd like to set up a private message with another attendee, just click this button here and then enter in who they are and 
send your message. Last but not least, I want to show you the resources area, some really helpful stuff here. We've got a really great interactive map, so if you're new to the Fest Parker, uh, this will be very, very helpful in both determining uh, meeting locations as well as finding sessions and events uh, as you go on through the, uh, through the week. You've got your Wi-Fi information. We have a really handy shuttle tracking tool that we'll be using this year so you can see where those buses are at all times. And finally, can't forget to mention our restaurant list. Uh, we do provide you a lot of meals at CJU, but some dinners will be left up to you. So please explore this great list of places in town. Um, some are just walking distance from the Fest Parker or many of the hotels you may be staying at. So definitely utilize this. And that's the CJ universe. Did I miss anything, Lucille? All right, I think I'm good. Uh, we're going to move back to our presentation. Appreciate you guys following me through that there, and I hope it's a really helpful tool for you. Um, just to wrap things up and give a quick summary, the key to doing well at CJ University is first, knowing who you want to meet with, knowing your targets, and creating that short list. Be sure to make time for important conference events. There's a lot of great content. There's a lot of great networking opportunities. So aside from your one-on-one -on -one meetings with partners, definitely make time for it, especially if it's your first CJU. To get yourself started and set up with all the tools that can help you um, from now until even after the conference, log in and get started with the CJ Universe. Uh, get in there and set up your profile and push notifications. Use to set up all your meetings and conversations and be sure to note all the sessions, keynotes, and workshops you want to attend. And I didn't even mention that there's a fantastic partner mobile app that does everything that the desktop version does. So all of the features that I just talked about, the schedule, the discussions, looking at attendees, all of that stuff is also in the mobile app in addition to a really helpful uh, ride hailing uh, section where you can find quick links to things like Uber and Lyft, see our shuttle tracking there, see our restaurant tracking there. So definitely use the mobile app as you move around the conference. And again, if you're looking for a more in-depth walkthrough of specific tasks in the CJ Universe portal, be sure to watch that YouTube video that you can find on its homepage uh, as that will be very helpful for you. Great. Thank you very much, Brian, for all that information. We do have some questions here, though. First of all, how do you, we know which zone to pick? How to know which zone to pick? That's a great question. Uh, all zones are created equally. So uh, the answer to that question is whatever zone is available. Um, they are, they're all basically the same. We've got a couple different areas that are we, we set up specifically for um, for private meetings. So you'll you'll notice that right away. Uh, we want to give that space, but um, there are only so many tables and they're all certain sizes as you saw. So just get in there and pick the one that's available. Great. Um, someone else is asking how best to approach a potential partner that you don't know that you want to meet with. That's a good question, and, and that's a really common thing, especially if it's your first CJU. Um, as you saw in the universe, we really provide a lot of tools to talk about yourself, to make an introduction. Um, you don't have to just go ahead and request a meeting. You could even just send that private message first if you're more comfortable with that, instead of picking a day and a time and saying, hey, you know, I'm so-and-so, this is why I want to meet with you and what I'm interested in. Um, so don't be shy. That's exactly why people are attending. Um, go and uh, and make those meeting requests, and you know certainly if it's mutual, uh, I'm sure you can set one up. Great. Um, is there anyone at CJU who can answer technical questions about my program? Yes. So uh, as I kind of alluded to earlier, the Discovery Lab is actually an evolution of something that we've had for a couple years now, known as the Solutions Lounge. Um, the Solutions Lounge previously was focused on our product folks and our support folks doing just that, answering questions about our technology, our solutions, and tech questions and issues, and even live troubleshooting uh, if you have anything going on with your account. So we still are featuring all of that in the Discovery Lab. So in addition to those sessions and workshops, you can still meet with product teams, you can still meet with our support folks and sit down together and work through any technical questions. So 
if you're interested, definitely just stop by the Discovery Lab and see uh, if you can uh, talk with someone about your question. Thanks, Brian. Um, someone else is asking, can CJ arrange meetings for me? So that may depend on how you are working with CJ, but uh, it is possible that if you are, um, for instance, an advertiser who is working with and, and basically paying for an account team to help manage the program, I'm sure that team will be part of your efforts in helping to arrange meetings. Um, so there are definitely situations where we can help. Um, but if not, if you're doing things yourself, as you saw, you don't need us. You have all the tools that uh, that you could ever need in the in the universe to set up your own meeting. So um, happy to help if we're there, but if not, you certainly can do it yourself. Great. Um, we also have a question here. Will all meals be provided at CJU? Good question. Uh, we do provide a lot of food. Uh, we have breakfast every day. We have lunch every day. We don't provide dinner every day. So uh, the one very um, you know well-known dinner event that we provide is is the awards dinner. Um, and I can't fail to mention the late night food court, uh, which happens after and kind of during the after party. That's always fantastic. Um, but there are nights where you'll have to kind of go and, and find dinner on your own. And so highly encourage you to use that restaurant list. Like I said, a lot of those places are totally walkable from uh, the Fest Parker, or if you need transportation, um, that's why we provided those helpful links to the ride hailing services. And finally, how do I get to offsite events? Totally, so we've got a really helpful shuttle that uh, I highlighted a few times today. It will be available all day long to get you back and forth from your hotels to the conference, as well as to offsite social events. So our CJU Funk Zone event, uh, that's actually pretty walkable, but if you need a shuttle to get there, we, we will be running it, um, as well as to our after party, uh, which is also downtown. Great, that looks like that's all our questions. I just wanna remind people to, to go to CJU Connect. That's another great way to meet potential partners. And also look for the color of people's badges. That will give you an indication of why they're there and who you should approach. Good points. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you have any follow-up questions, please just uh, reach out to us. And we hope you have a fabulous time at CJU. Looking forward to seeing you there.